Okay, are you here with me? <laughs> Why are you kanina? Welcome to Tika's second live interactive class. My name is Chef Andrea Amaro, and today we are making bude chike. Now, bude chike is army based stew in English. Now, the reason why it's called army based stew is because a lot of these ingredients were from the U.S. Army base. And before, during the Korean War, as a form of armistice between the two countries, between Korea, South Korea and the U.S., what the, uh, what the troops, what the American troops would do is they would give hot dogs, ham, macaroni, cheese, all of these uh, American ingredients to Koreans. And Koreans, they don't know what to do with it. So they made it their own by making Budechige. So for me, this dish is very, it's very heartwarming. You know, sometimes you know, before the lockdown, if I'm very stressed with work and I want to eat something that is nice and warm, very satisfying, I go with Budechige because it's super easy to make. Okay, so before we begin, I would like to thank uh, my good friend Deepak. He is our sponsor today with MassFlex. We have MassFlex stuff here on my right, and we'll be giving this away uh, today along with Tika vouchers that you can use anytime for your class of your choice. So before we start the class, I'd like to remind everyone that you know, before we do the raffle, before we do the trivia games, you have to like the Tika page first. And besides liking the page, you also have to share the video. So we're going to check this every time you post an answer. So you have to like the Tika Facebook page and share the video. Those two things are very important. Now, after that, you have to be based in the Philippines. So even if you are in Cebu or Dava, but you have a friend or relative in Metro Manila and you want to send this to them, you can do so. Okay, so wherever you are, I hope our students in Canada and US, if they are awake, please remember that the videos will be available after we do the shoot. But if you are awake, give us a shout out in the comments page so we know you're with us. Okay, so before we begin, let me break down the ingredients that we will be using today. So I have here finger chilies. I sliced it diagonally. I have white onions. I have shiitake mushroom. I have here pork and beans. Now, some people don't like pork and beans. I personally do not like pork and beans, but just for budichige, I buy pork and beans. and. It gives it a hint of sweetness that I would, you know, that I enjoy. So even if you don't like pork and beans, I suggest that you still give it a try just for this dish. I have here red bell pepper, and I have here fermented kimchi. Now, fermented kimchi, it's very important that you use fermented kimchi when you cook with kimchi because when you use fresh kimchi, it's not sour at all. Now, how do you know if it's fresh or if it's fermented? Now, if you look at this part of the pet chai, if it's fresh, it should be very white, okay? It's very white, it's very crunchy, but now because it's been, you know, it's been, um, it's been fermenting for over a month, it's softer and the white part of the pet chai is more translucent. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of cooking with fresh kimchi. Fresh kimchi is great if you are eating it as a side dish with barbecue or with instant noodles, but not for cooking. So when you um, purchase kimchi, or of course you can make kimchi at home. I have actually my best selling class is my kimchi three ways class. You can make kimchi at home. And if you want to ferment it really fast, what you do is you leave it 
in room temperature for about four to five hours. As long as it is not hitting the sunlight room temperature, that's okay. It will ferment much faster. So what you do is every time you make kimchi stew, every time you make kimchi fried rice, you have to use fermented kimchi. Hold on, where's my tissue? My kumuhan of tissue. May have kimchi fingers. Okay. So besides kimchi, what I will use is a can of Spam. Of course, you can use any type of luncheon meat that would work also. But you know, my favorite is, or my family's favorite is Spam. Okay, um, tofu, I'm using, you can use uh, local tofu, that's okay also. I wouldn't recommend that you use the Japanese kinigoshi tofu or the Korean sundubu because that is too oh, my magic. <laughs> my magic began to appear on tissue ko. on the side, the bang galing. What I wish will happen, because basakin yung halila kanina. Kanina may tissue ako eh. Okay, tofu. You can go with local. I wouldn't suggest the sundubu or the kinoboshi tofu because it's too soft. It will break very easily, so you don't want to use that. Next, I have sausage. Um, my preference is the smoked sausage because it gives a lot of flavor. You can use Hungarian. You know, honestly, when we need to get a lot of leftovers gets finished in the freezer. You have leftover ham, leftover this, leftover that. You can just put it in and it's gonna be okay. Cold cuts would work also. So I'm using this um, this uh, sausage that we made, uh, we used for seafood boil a few weeks ago. So we have leftover of that and I'm going to use it today. We also have sweet ham. Um, sweet ham, uh, to give it that sweetness because I'm not adding any sugar in, you know, in my seasoning. And once we put everything in the boil, we can put instant noodle, just the noodle, okay? We have minced garlic, we have gochugaru, which is red pepper flakes, gochujang, red pepper paste. Now, the difference with uh, gochugaru and gochujang, usually you will use a lot of these red pepper flakes when you cook Korean dishes. But if you want the dish to be slightly spicier, you have to add more gochugaru. So you can add a tablespoon of gochugaru if you want it spicier. Gochujang, you leave it as it is. Now, because these are very bright colored peppers, what you want to do is, when you cook, you don't want to put these near your stove because it has a chance of discoloring. Now, when, it, uh, when you put gochujang near the stove or when you leave it in room temp for, for hours, it has a tendency to, you know, to look like this ugly shade of red. Like, you know, uh, like, like deep dark red color. So you don't want to do that because it will affect the overall look of your dish. And nobody wants to eat ugly. So it has to be pretty and it has to be bright red. I'm also using fermented soy sauce, um, black pepper powder, and chicken stock. Now, chicken stock, uh, I do have uh, frozen chicken stock and beef stock that I keep in the freezer regularly. I just label them and put the name of the stock and the date as to when I made it. So if you do not have um, if you do not have your own stock, what you can do is you can use bouillon that would work also. A Korean friend of mine loves to use oxtail soup as her stock for this, which is so nice and rich. So it's up to you. But usually the stock or the stock of choice is uh, pork, uh, sorry, is chicken or beef. And if you don't know how to make your own stock, you can watch our free Pika Fundamental class on how to make stocks and broth by Chef Dad Brats. Okay, so we are going to do our first draw. Are you excited? I hope you're excited. So the winner will be the third person who replies correctly. So hindi siya paunahan. Kung mabagal yung internet niyo, maybe that's a good thing. So, third person who answers correctly will win. We have a six inch boning knife, fillet knife, 
a zester, a peeler, and a knife bag. So all of these items, one, two, three, four, five items, is yours if you guess our and if you guess our question. So the third person who replies correctly. And if you are the winner of any of these questions, you cannot join the succeeding games. Okay? Sorry. <laughs> we have seven prizes no man. So I suggest you try a lot. Okay, so I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. I hope you have your phones ready. And if you're ready to answer, here is the first question. Okay, you can give me the first name only, no need for surnames. It can be a nickname, that can work also, but it has to be spelled correctly. Okay, ready na kayo? So, give me three Tika instructors. Three Tika instructors. It's so easy. If you are our student, if you had any of our classes, if you browse through our website, you would know this right away. Correct spelling, please. Because if it's wrong spelling, I will message your instructor that you get you got your name wrong. <laughs> and I'm sure they will they will message you for that. So the third person who gives the correct answer will win. Now, while waiting for a winner, I'm going to assemble our dish now, okay? So I'm going to start with the spam. We have a winner. We have a winner. The winner is Rio. Of course, Rio would win. Just because Rio is one of our most... Okay, what is, what are her answers? Kung hindi ako kasali sa answer niya, walang prize yun. Chef Gabby, Chef Pauline, and Chef Anya. Oh wait, wala. Wala ako? Bakit wala ako? Delete lang. <laughs> Bakit wala ako? Sige na nga. Masama yung loob ko. Masama yung loob ko. Pero, fine. Sige na. But you know, Rio is one of her, just ang bilis niya magluto. And she buys a class, and the next day, in two days, tapos na siya. She's, she's done. Okay, bilis na ha. So, let's get our sausage here. You know what's exciting later? We're going to play the squid game. It's going to get really bloody here later. May gagapang palabas ng bahay. Iba pa ka ng sila. Okay, sausages are in. And then we're adding our ham. Bakit wala ako? Okay. Now let's do a second draw. Kung masadong masadong madale eh, yung first ano, yung first question natin. The the fifth person who answers this question. Actually, madale eh. Sino bang gawa na question na tawong madale? Okay. Fifth person to to give the correct answer. Are you ready? Fifth, ha? Huh? Fifth. So you have to, I don't know. Actually, it's really a game of chance. This is super, super, super easy. And it has to be the correct spelling. Rio, hindi ka nakasali. Ganun magtay. Okay. What does Tika stand for? Dali, di ba? Pero kailangan correct spelling. Okay, you have to make sure that you share the video because we are checking if you have the sharer badge. Because without the sharer badge, we you are not eligible to win the prizes. And for this second part, we are giving away 500 peso voucher, Tika voucher that you can use for any of your classes.
Okay, so we are checking the share badge and some people who who answered correctly uh, could well did not win because they did not share the video. So please share the video so you can have the chance to win. Yeah, I'll PM Ria later. Okay, again, there are people who are still joining, but will not share their badge. You have to share this video to your account. So because only one person, or if you uh, won already, uh, you cannot join the succeeding games. So if you have, well, multiple accounts, you can join again. So we're checking it based on the name of your account. We have we have a winner. CC Do. CC Do stands for CC Do. So mm -hmm. CC Do, congratulations! You won 500 pesos voucher. Please contact Carla. Yeah. So Carla is the one you're gonna coordinate with for the prizes. If you don't get your prize from Carla, sumbong niya sa akin. Okay. Okay, so we place our spam, our sausage, our ham, our tofu. Now, basically a lot of the vegetables here are, you know, you can choose to put them. It's really optional. I add the, I add the chilies because I want to give it that extra spiciness. The onions for that crunch. Bell pepper, honestly, because I have it in my ref. So it's not really set in stone the vegetables you have to place. Now, I like placing it in, I like dividing it into three because it's prettier that way, but you don't have to do it that way also. Okay, so we're adding bell peppers. Okay, we'd like to remind our student to share the video because a lot of you may like the page, but if you did not share, you cannot join the game. So you have to click the share button on the bottom right so you can join the games. So I'm adding finger chilies. Finger chilies are optional. You can choose to omit if you do not uh, like it too spicy. Mm. White onions. Okay. Saan ko siya lalagay? with the mushroom. Now, honestly, when you cook this, when you eat this in Korea, they just dump everything in. They just dump everything and they, they put it in a burner and you wait for it to boil. Once you have a lot of the soup and a lot of the meat, after that, you add the noodles. And I don't know if you watch Korean telenovelas, but, but, when Koreans eat, especially with soups or stews, they do it in a communal way. Kumbaga, they don't have serving spoon, they just leave it there and they just eat directly. So, you know, I mean, with us, you know, there's serving spoon, we also share. Now, I'd like to ask, uh, I'd like to encourage everyone to ask questions. Um, if they have any questions about this class, about the course, about anything, they can ask it here. And someone will read it for me. Okay, so soy sauce. I'll be adding the garlic. Chef Andrea, question from Rio. Will you be posting the recipe for after? Yes, I will be posting the recipe. So after uh, 
uh, the video is done, we will edit the description and we will add the recipe. So a lot of these uh, ingredients, actually among all the ingredients, you only have to buy gochujang because you cannot replace that. But everything else um, is easily, uh, you can easily find that in your pantry. Now gochugaru, I add gochugaru to make it slightly spicier, but this is optional. So among all the ingredients that we use besides kimchi and the gochujang, everything you can easily find in your local groceries. Okay. So, I'm making a paste out of this. And then I'm adding the, the pochukaru. Now, pork and beans. I am telling you, I have friends who, would, who doesn't like pork and beans. And yes, I understand, but you know, just for this dish, I buy pork and beans and kimchi. Your kimchi is very good for you. It's good uh, for your gut. It's good for your digestion. So, because actually any fermented vegetable is very good for your digestion. It contains natural probiotics. So it is good for weight loss. As long as you don't, you know, eat it with a cup of rice every time you're having it, you'll be okay. Okay. There. Oh, actually, let me just, let me pour that in. The kimchi brine, the water that comes with your kimchi, you can easily um, add that when you make soups or stews. I don't throw it away. And the best way to store your kimchi is to make sure it's under the brine. Okay. Now I have orange fingers. Oh, black pepper. If you can see, I did not add any sugar in my paste. You do not have to add sugar at all. Remember the pork and beans, it has a natural sweetness and we are using sweet ham. So we are pouring this on top. Okay, so if you go to Korea, they will serve it to you in a pot like this. I am using Cookworks. This is also by Masflex. I use this a lot for soups and stews. It's amazing because the cover is made with glass and I can see what I'm cooking. And it's actually a very thick and heavy steel. So you should, you would know if it's thick and heavy that it will last long and it will not, you know, dead easily. So usually in Korea, they will, you know, get you a burner, put the burner in your table and put this on top and give you stock. Here is my stock. And then you will start cooking. Now, where are we with our giveaways? Now, let's do a third draw. The, the winner for this will get a fresh ah! <laughs> We'll get a french fries and snack and server tray. I want to show it to you. Okay. There you go. So the second or the third uh, winner of the draw will get this. Now we are looking for the fourth, fourth, uh, <laughs> fourth person who answers correctly. Fourth person. So again, please share the video this way. You will win because we are share, we are checking the sharer badge. There is a sharer badge every time you leave a comment. So, fourth person to reply, fourth person to reply will win. Okay. Now, this is the question. Are you ready for this question? Bakit? Oh, later. Oh, sige. I am surrounded by hungry people. So, 
it after. Pero sige. Sige na, sige. Okay. So, usually when you when this is served, they just put it on top of you and someone will pour stock. You don't have to pour it all. Um, usually, after it's boiling, you let it boil for about 10 minutes. And after it's boiling, you can get whatever you want. You can get the meats or, you know, if it lessens by 50%, that's the time we drop our noodles and we can add cheese. Okay, so. store boy. Next our third draw. So we're giving this away for the fourth person who answers it, answers our question correctly. Now, this class is called Budichige. So my next question is, what is Budichige in English? Very easy question, right? Very easy question. What is Budichige in English? So the winner will win a French fries and server with glass tray. French fries and server glass trick. The fourth person gets to win this. And it's huge. It's a huge French fry. My goodness. To serve French fries here. And it comes with a plastic case. The winner. Bawal kayo sumale. The people near me bawal sumale. The winner, the fourth person who replies correctly, will win this. Okay. No, I can hear this sizzling already or boiling already. Yes, Bangwelka. Only the people who are watching who are not in this room can join. Yes. Who? Okay, this one's actually very pretty. And fries. These are for huge fries. So these are big snack holders that are perfect for snacking, especially if you have Netflix night. Actually, why did the pump popcorn day? Okay, so as long as you're in the Philippines, you can join. You have to like the Dika Facebook page and you have to share our video. So Rio and Cici Do, I'm sorry, but this is for other I know other students to reply. Now Now, while waiting for this to boil, we are actually going to do a Korean drinking game. Okay? We're going to do a Korean drinking game and and if they get it wrong, we'll do it squid game style. <laughs> we'll do it squid game style, they will be shot. No. Okay. First, what you do is pour almost a bottle of beer. Usually, I use a high bowl for this. Okay. So, in Korea, you have soju. You know soju already. It's quite popular, especially if you watch the Korean telenovelas. And there is mekju. Soju and mekju, if they get married, you get somek. So, a bottle of this and a shot of this is called Somet. Now, the game that we are playing right now, oh, we have a winner. Oh my god, Saira. <laughs> Saira, congratulations on your prize. You can message Carla Yap to get your prize. Wow. Hindi ba luto yan? Sino ko bili na winner? Okay, so I now I'm now calling two uh, people, forcing two people to join me in this Korean drinking game. Now this Korean drinking game is called Titanic. So I am dropping a shot glass inside. So it's a highball glass with a shot glass floating inside. So the objective here is to drop the soju bit by bit 
And if it's your turn and the shot glass drops, you have to drink the whole thing. Exciting, diba? So, I'd like to call Chef Aniel. <laughs> Hindi naman ito, kunwari yung squid game lang. Walang babaril sa'yo. And Carla Yap. So you know who Carla is. Hahanapin niyo si Carla if you cannot get your prize. Joke. <laughs> Grabe, di ba? Parang yung tissue ko, biglang. Ano lang? And roll na. <laughs> okay. So this is the objective. We drop a bit. Paikot siya. Ideally three, maybe five the most. Masaya to pag nasin na yung kasama mo. Kasi usually they screw up, they pour how, you know, whatever, they, how much they want, and it drops. So, the idea is to pour a little bit. That was when it's your opponent's turn to pour, tatakutin mo sila. So, <laughs> Okay. Yabang mo ha. Masigay ko yung huli. Dumihan mo para and go now. <laughs> When you eat barbecue, you have to eat it right away. Because imagine if you cook 
and you leave it in the dining table and you wait for people to come sometimes the food gets really cold that's why they have the burner the barbecue restaurants would have the burner so you, ha you have your food as hot as possible so next after that drinking game you want another drinking game uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> raffle, raffle. Raffle. okay so second person to answer this question this one you know i want i want to check if you're really mm -hmm. listening uh to what i'm saying in this class no what's the price the prize is okay. the prize is a 500 best voucher for a Giga class so again you have to share the video to be eligible to join this now after the game after this class you can message carla to coordinate with your vouchers or your prizes so the the ones with the physical price with an actual price you have to shoulder the shipping costs just let give us the address and we'll coordinate so it will be shipped from manila to your place okay so next question are you ready for this? So, if gochujang is Korean red pepper paste, what is gochugaru? What is gochugaru? Well, since you want to listen, I can ask you. Diba? Very simple. If gochujang is red pepper paste, what is gochugaru? And the second person to reply wins. So you have to be super fast. Really, really fast. Okay? Now, while I wait for someone to reply, I'm going to fix myself a snack. They're still debating who the winner is. Is that difficult, bah? Okay. Joy Carlos Taraba. Joy Carlos Taraba, congratulations. Okay. Now, you win 500 best voucher. This has no expiration. You can use it in any class that you want. A lot of her classes are a lot more affordable. It's only 1,498. So it's a huge discount, the 500 best voucher. So next our fifth draw for the day this is well this is actually quite easy if you are familiar with the Dika courses so the fourth person okay fourth person to give a reply this is um, this is quite easy now name me three Dika courses that you like three Dika courses I suggest you go with the courses with the short names, so with the short titles. This way it will be very fast. If you chose uh, Chef Junrei's class, baka tapos na kayo mag-type, tapos na rin yung contest. Kasi yung haba nun, it's creamy cassava cake, uh, biko, mm -hmm. and Gucci three ways. He has the longest name class, so... What's the price? What's the price? The price is... Oh, oh I forgot the name. The price, the price is... This blossom glass serving tray with wooden handle. Oh, how cute. This is the... Teka lang, teka lang po. Fourth person. The fourth person to reply. Oh, this is so pretty for fruits. Especially if you're allowed to have guests. Okay, so there's a screw here, you can put it on top, and it's again so bright. So nice with fruits and uh, cheeses. My screw Okay, so the winner for this will get this blossom glass serving tray, amazing with fruits or cheeses, and we have a winner. Angelica Marcial, congratulations! Okay, now, our Buddha chicken is ready, it's ready for eating, and it looks, wow. Mm -hmm. 
you know, the soup doesn't have to be sweet. You see, a lot of the places here in the Philippines, they make it overly sweet, and it shouldn't be. So the sweetness actually comes from the sweet ham and the gochugaru. Uh, sorry, and the uh, pork and beans. The pork and beans uh, is slightly sweet as well. So this is our final dish. We can add more stock later on. Um, if half of the meat is taken out, then we can add our noodles. Now, we have two more prizes to give away. Next, we have our 500 peso Ika voucher. So this is the sixth question for the day. Oh, this is this is quite relative. Like, there's really no right or wrong answer with this one. What is it about Ika that you like? That's practically a giveaway. What is it about Ika that you like? What's the price? The price is a 500 peso voucher that you can use. Uh, in any of the Tika uh, classes, and this will not expire. You can use it in any class, any day. And by the way, our courses can be given away as a gift. Pang so, pang oh, pangilan, fifth. Sorry, it's the beer talking. The fifth, the fifth person, the fifth person who leaves an answer. Actually, there's no right or wrong answer here. So the fifth person who gives us a reply on what they like about Dika wins a 500 peso gift voucher. Again, you have to be, you have to share the video and you have to like our page. So it's very important. Do we have a winner? Uh, I have a council of annoyed judges judging your replies. Maria Alvarez, Alvarez, congratulations. What is her reply? Affordable classes, great chef mentors. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Okay, we'll cap it off with our last prize. I'd like to reiterate to the people near me, they are not allowed to join. <laughs> so this one's the, the quite big. This is a snack server with metal wrap. It also has two um, containers for condiments. We'd like to thank Mass Flex, our sponsor. Now, okay, so there is a dipping sauce here and here. And of course, two glasses on both sides. So this is your last question. Now, the fifth person who replies wins. Correct answers only. You have to like the page and be a share. Because until now, sometimes some of the people who gave, um, gave the answers correctly, they did not share the video, so we cannot consider that. Okay, this is the question. This is actually applicable for the people who saw the first Tika Live show. Okay? What are the three dishes taught in the first Tika Live class? Taught by Chef Gabby Brett. Wrong spelling. Wrong spelling, wrong. Oh my god. Pang <laughs> wrong spelling pa to ay nako. Ewan ko na. I don't know what to say. So. First three dishes, or what are the dishes taught in Chef Gabby's uh, first uh, Tika Live class? Because this is our second, so there was a first one. What was the class taught? Chef in dishes, in the title. Okay, dishes taught. The three dishes that was taught. It's three of the same thing. So my council of judges are reviewing your answers. We need the fifth. We need the fifth person. Cheers. Oh. Meron na? Ang galing naman ng mga students natin. And our winner is Jasmine Gallardo. Congratulations. Okay. So, you know, 
Uh, we do these classes really for you to learn things that are very simple, that are very easy. We also want to highlight, you know, our Hika fundamental classes so you can learn other things for free. Because we do believe that you have to learn a lot of the basic things or you have to try, you know, a lot of new recipes so you can expand or you can, you know, try new things because yeah, we're in a lockdown. So, in a way, food is our happiness. So, on my case, I love to eat, but I love to cook. And this is one dish that is definitely very easy to make, very heartwarming. If it rains, I guarantee you cook this dish and you will love it. So, I would like to thank our students. We, we were very lucky to have a lot of very supportive students who you know, have been with us uh, even before, you know, even before we had Dika. We have Astra, Maribeth, me, Apple, Ayan, we have, oh my god, Zara from Garla, the Papa Haidao. We have Luisa, Deepak, our sponsors for MassFlex, thank you very much. We have Maria, Jonathan, Marivic, Raquel, Ivy, Christine, Damineto, Mehan, Jersey, Rose, Dechi, Christine, Kids, our instructors, Pauline, you're next. If you're watching, it's your turn after two weeks. We have Chef Aniela, Chef Gabby, Martin, Jure, Ermo, Chef JP. Uh, we miss you guys. If you are watching, I'm going to eat this by myself. I'm not going to share. You know, my family and friends, if you're watching, thank you <laughs> for being so supportive. Uh, I hope you guys had fun. We want to keep this as light as possible so you guys would enjoy. Thank you for watching. This is Chef Andre Amado. And thank you for being us with us for Tiga's second live interactive class.